it's early September and we're back on the Birmingham Canal Navigations. We've travelled out of Birmingham on Thomas Telford's main line and we've got to Wolverhampton and we need to go down the Wolverhampton 21 tomorrow. So our friend Cathy, who was on board with us, suggested why not go up the Whirly and Essington for about a mile and drop onto the, what was the old Bentley Canal. What a fantastic suggestion that turned out to be. Now this last remaining watered section of the Bentley Canal serves as a fantastic mooring place if you want to come and make use of the shops, the cinema, the Nickelodeon pub right next door here. So you see the boat now moored up in what appears to be a basin. What this actually is, is the old entrance to lock number one. You can see where the towpath is funneling in there and that was the old entrance, that was the top gate into lock number one. Lock number one of 10 locks that travel for 3.4 miles between here, which is Wensfield, and at the junction of the Worley and Essington Canal, and it ends just on the outskirts of Walsall. I continue to be amazed at the water quality of some of the Birmingham Canal network so clear the fish are incredible look at these roach massive shoals of really good quality condition roach yeah i'll give the water is a little bit milky it's there's a there's a very light sort of cotton wool type algae in there uh it's the time of year but it's it was like being on an ornamental fish pond the fish in here were incredible the, the massive shoals of roach were beautiful, moving through all the time. And as usual, under the boat, if I ever look under the boat, I will always find some perch. Here's some beautiful perch, just sitting there, waiting for a stray little bit of fry to come past that's going to snap up. The Bentley Canal was relatively late to the party when it comes to canal building. Uh, it was 1843 when it was created, and that was some 20 years after a lot of political arguments between the Birmingham Canal Company, the Worley and Essington, Walsall Town Council, all manner of arguments going on about where the route should be and what it should be doing and which land it was going to go through. But ultimately, they settled for this one, which was an extremely straight route. Now it fell into disrepair in the early 60s uh, and it was filled in and sort of tarmacked over and whatever else uh, by the sort of 1980s, 1990s time. And this is indeed all that is left of what once was a great little canal. 
As you know, canals were not created for leisure. They were not created to be pretty. They were there to be functional. They were there to provide a service to industry. And the Bentley Canal was no different. Now this serviced two collieries. One was the Neitchell Hall Colliery, which was got to via the Neitchell's branch, and also the Pendlebury Colliery, which was just on the outskirts of Walsall. And just peering through the gloom there, I got very excited about this. There's a pair of tench. You don't very often see the tench, but there they are just in the distance. I was so hoping they would come a bit closer. And there's a solitary carp as well. Looks very similar to the tench in body shape. I could see it from above the water, but under the water, just a little bit cloudy to pick out the detail. It was a common carp. And there she is, Mrs. Lumsden, my own personal mermaid, just staring wistfully into the clarity of the water, looking out for fish. She's my pike spotter. She's quite good as well. And there, as usual, that's the one I always want to see. There's a pike. It's only a small one. It was about 14, 15 inches long. But well, we saw some beautiful fish all around this area on the Worley and Essenton and on the Bentley. And this is a great indication of a really healthy aquatic ecosystem right here in what was once the heart of the industrial black country. Well, there was never really an intention to create a vlog from this area, but the footage taken underwater was too good to waste. I didn't want to just throw that on the cutting room floor. I needed a narrative, so I thought, well, let's just do a little bit around the history of the Bentley Canal and see if we can sew the two little stories together. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you next time at the bottom of the Wolverhampton 21 at Aldersley Junction. Bye for now.